Real talk, y'all. You guys thought I was filming all seven, eight of these Lightroom uh, tutorials in one day. I didn't. I definitely changed. I got a haircut. I feel so fresh now um, and ready to go. So, spoiler alert, this wasn't all in one go. Uh, although I'm gonna do my best to flee. So I'm Ryland from Rinse for Photography where we're all about growing confidence for the wedding photographer. Today we're in part four of our Lightroom tutorial series. We're gonna be talking about Lightroom efficiency. And really that starts before we even get to Lightroom with culling. Um, we have found uh, some other software for culling called Photo Mechanic uh, that just speeds things up dramatically um, to set us up for much more efficient uh, working in Lightroom. So we're gonna start with Photo Mechanic, and which is what I'm about to show you in a second. Then we're gonna transition over to Lightroom and talk about some of the efficiency tools that we use in Lightroom uh, to be able to process the tens and hundreds of thousands of photos that we take every year uh, very quickly and efficiently for our clients. So stick around, hope you learned something great. Um, let us know if you do. Subscribe so you see the next videos as they come out. And uh, what are we waiting for? So we're diving in with Photo Mechanic, and this is the software that we use uh, to cull very quickly all of our photos before we import them into Lightroom. Um, we have found that culling in Photo Mechanic, uh, I'll tell you why in a second, is just much, much faster when you're trying to cull through thousands of photos and pick just the best 20% uh, or something like that. Um, and so the first thing that you want to do in Photo Mechanic is you will, after you have copied your actual photo files from your SD or your QXD cards or whatever, onto your um, machine, onto your hard drive. We talked about that in episode three on getting organized. Um, the next thing that you wanna do is you want to um, open a contact sheet. So contact sheet is the term that they use uh, for just a, a folder location. And so now what it does is it pulls in all their photos uh, from my hard drive, just reading them in from the hard drive. Um, and what you can do in Photo Mechanic and this is what's key, is that you can rate your photos very quickly. Um, and what Photo Mechanic does is it renders photos extremely quickly so that you can sort through them uh, with incredible speed relative to Lightroom. So I can just go like this and I see these kind of low quality, low resolution uh, renders of these photos and there's no like rendering time. If you've tried to do this in Lightroom, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You click to the next photo and you see it spin for a couple seconds before it actually like uh, before it actually refines and you can actually look at the photo and examine the photo. In Photo Mechanic, there's none of that. What we find is primarily what we're looking for while we're, while we're culling is the scene and focus. Making sure that this is the scene that we want, like man, this is a great photo of this bride and her mom, so I wanna rate that one, I wanna make sure to pull it over. I also wanna make sure that it's focused. Uh, the next thing to do in Photo Mechanic in order for this to even be valuable, is to rate your photos in Photo Mechanic so that when you pull them into Lightroom, you've already got them categorized uh, different ways. Um, so we use a simple star rating method um, for our photos. Uh, a one star is just a photo that we want to keep. Um, two star is a photo that like really stood out as like, man, that was a great photo. We wanna make sure to, to, to highlight that one. That was kind of the best of the best of their gallery. Um, three star photo is like, wow, that was incredible. That's good enough to be on our website. Uh, because whenever you wanted to make an update, update to your website, it's really hard to filter through the tens of thousands of photos that you may have uh, to use. Uh, so helping kind of pre-select some great photos as you're working through your different galleries. And then we use a four star rating for photos that include us. And those we'll use for like our educational materials, um, our advertising, things like that. Uh, but once you star your photos in Photo Mechanic, um, those stars will import then into Lightroom, those ratings that you've, that you've applied in Photo Mechanic will import to Lightroom so that when you open Lightroom and import your photos there, they're already cold and you're ready to go. So now we're gonna hop over to Lightroom and uh, pick it up from there. Let's go. Where we wanna start um, our editing process is with our best photos. 
So when we go through a wedding day, we try to use the, our two or three stars for our best photos from that day, but not just our favorite photos. We try to look for the best photos from kind of every section or, or period of the day. And what that gives us is it gives us a highlights gallery of the entire day from the beginning of the day, some of the details, getting ready, the ceremonies, some individuals. This gives us just kind of a small subset of the entire day that represents kind of the highlights gallery. And the reason this is so helpful is for one, it gives us very quickly, you know, instead of talking about a thousand photos to edit, now we're just talking about a hundred photos to edit. Uh, and then once we edit those hundred photos, we can quickly deliver those to our clients as a preview gallery. Like, here's some previews for you. Relive your day while you're still riding that high from your wedding. Uh, we found that that is super, super appreciated by our clients. So it's really, really helpful. Uh, but what it also does is it allows us to take those best photos, um, edit them the way that we like them, and then we can synchronize those edits across other photos from that same kind of scene. So let's take a look at like this dress photo, for example. Uh, so here's what I mean. What you can do is you can take this photo, but I wanna apply like the same edit to these handful of other perspectives that we've got of her wedding dress um, around that same moment. So all I have to do is you hit Command and you select the other photos that you want, or if they're all in a series, you can hit Shift and select all. And basically, it takes your original selected photo as the reference, and then what other, whatever additional photos that you highlighted. And if you press Command Shift S, it brings up the synchronized settings. What this does is it'll apply the exact same edits to all those other photos. Um, so you can see there are a lot of checkboxes here. We have almost everything checked except for a couple of things. Local adjustments, spot removal, and crop. The, realize we, the reason that we don't sync those is because usually those are very specific to a, to a very single photo. So we've checked all these other things, we had synchronized, uh, and now guess what? All these other photos um, of her dress are, all have those exact same edits uh, applied uh, and they look great. So synchronizing settings is huge. This is a, that is a total, total game changer um, for working efficiently, extremely quickly. And so one thing to think about while you're editing is what type of edits do I want to apply which are going to be like syncable across other photos. This is one reason why we try not to do very many local adjustments like using the brush. And so we try to get things just the way we like it as much as possible without using any local adjustments because local adjustments just don't sync very well and syncing is key to working efficiently. The last thing that we wanted to talk about here were presets. Presets are huge um, because it allows you to apply the same settings um, across all your photos if you want to. And for us, it's part of our brand. You know, we have a baseline preset that we developed uh, that applies uh, some basic things. We talked about these in some of our other videos, but it just creates the, a, a photo that pops a little bit more versus the original one, um, which is a little, relatively flat. So you know, it's relatively flat and we add baseline and it all of a sudden it just pops a lot more. And that is then the starting point for adjusting the exposure and the colors, but we've already got that pop that we want in all of our photos. Um, one quick comment about presets. There are a lot of pre amazing presets out there that you can purchase. Um, you can also, I think it's worth taking the time to understand all this, how all this stuff in Lightroom works. It's part of the reason why we've been going through this. So you can develop your own and that, so that you know how to manipulate uh, photos in the way that you want to produce the style, the feel, uh, and the, the final image uh, that is exactly what you had in mind. Use presets, you can buy presets, you can develop your own preset. Just create a preset, you just use this button right here. Create a preset, <clears throat> and note it'll, it'll keep everything selected. So if you create it that way, it'll apply those change, the current settings for every single option um, to the photo. However, for this green treatment one, for example, we only wanted to influence the color um, to try to improve skin tones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncheck everything and only check the color. We only want to influence the color with this green treatment one. We don't want to influence anything else. And so that's how you create a new preset. You can name it, yada, 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 etc. 
that is it for today. Um, I hope that this gave you some new tools uh, to work very efficiently in Lightroom when you're working with thousands and thousands of photos, having these little tips and tricks in your toolbox to be able to work efficiently is a total game changer and can help you work so much faster and get so much more done. And make sure to tune in for our next video where we'll be talking about our entire workflow from culling to importing to backing up for long-term storage. Um, this is starting to put all the pieces together of how you manage all these photos that you're taking, how you work them in Lightroom. And so I think it'll be super, super valuable for you. We've got a great system and it was working really well for us. Uh, we took a long time to develop it. We're excited to share it with you. So subscribe um, to our channel so you'll see that next video when it comes out. Uh, and until then, peace.